In this movie, we will present how we can easily create a cross gable roof, trimming two separate gable roofs to each other. Let's start with creating two roofs gabled and placed perpendicularly on top of each other. Let's switch to the 3D window. Before trimming the roofs, let's make the trimming bodies visible. For this, let's activate the Design, Connect, Trimming Bodies. The appearing 3D bodies show how the roofs will cut each other. Let's select both roofs. Right-click and from the context menu, choose the Connect Trim Elements to Roof shell command. To do the trimming of both selected roofs, leave the options as is in the Appearing Trim Elements dialog box, and click the Trim button to achieve the operation. Let's see the result in the 3D window and in the floor plan view. As we can see, the roofs are correctly connected in 2D as well. Let's switch to the 3D window again. In default, the trimming bodies of the roofs are part of the pivot line and going downward. This means any parts of the trimmed roofs falling outside of that trimming body are not trimmed. This is the reason why we can see some bits that have been left out of the trim. By offsetting the pivot polygon, we can modify the contour of the trimming body. To use the roof contours for border of the trimming body, let's select Roofs, open the Settings dialog box, switch to the Model tab page, and choose the contours down for trimming body from the pop-up. Let's see the result in the 3D window. The trimming relationship is updated automatically. Also, if we edit one of the roofs, the connection will associatively follow the changes. See the Intelligent Connection movies to learn more about these operations and trimming bodies.